Is everyone really welcome at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln? Or do you have to believe the same as the majority? We actually get variants of this question a lot. And so it's an important one. The, the first thing to affirm is that yes, everyone is welcome at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Every person, without exception, everyone. We're real clear on that. Our covenant with each other has a couple pieces, though. Every person is welcome, but not every behavior. So if, for instance, someone came to church and spent coffee hour proselytizing for another church in town, we'd probably have a conversation about the appropriateness of that behavior. We're also covenantally about the work of transformation, which is why my answer to this question really goes back to the conversation that we had yesterday. You know, there have been times in my faith where I have been profoundly challenged by my colleagues in the Unitarian Universalist Association calling for justice in ways that I am was, am, uncomfortable with. For me, the professional commitment, though, is, is to stay in relationship. And through doing so, I found myself a different person than I was 10 or 5 or even 3 years ago. That's a really good thing. That's the discomfort of growth, not of injury. So, yes, one, everyone is welcome. And two, no, you don't have to believe the same as the majority on anything. Unitarian Universalists, if we ask one question to 12 of them, we'll get at least 15 answers. But I don't think anyone, least of all me, gets to avoid being uncomfortable if we're honest about being a place and a people of transformation. And that's a good thing. Growth in members and in our spirits, in our understanding of the world, that's what makes us a vibrant community. Over the last three years nationally, the Unitarian Universalist Association has had a, a commission on institutional change, pushing us to the work of transforming our institutions. The report is worth reading. I talked about it last week. Um, I'll try and link to that video in, in, through this one. But one of the things that I want to highlight is a reflection also written last week um, by the Reverend Dr. Fred Wooden. He's the recently retired minister of Fountain Street Church in Grand Rapids. I'll also try to con include his whole comments in the video description. But in reflecting how he has responded to the call for institutional change, he, he wrote this. That's why, even as I feel vestigial as a leader, the work we are doing now that probes deeply into the systems of oppression we inhabit is essential. Is it perfect? No. Would I do it better? No. It is not being done the way I would do it, but it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. It's not about me, and that should be a relief, not a loss. When people speak about being uncomfortable, this is part of it. And with that comes the spiritual, spiritual task of trusting what you do not know. Could there be a better definition of faith? I believe deeply that those who are at the forming edge of this era are as truly Unitarian Universalist as I, that as human beings they are also as imperfect as I. That if the UUA survived me and those imperfect souls before me, it will survive those now leading us. And that if we are true to our core values, we will be better, no matter what that looks like. What is needed, I now think, is a larger covenant, meaning a bond of union felt more than said, that accompany, encompasses who we are and were, that speaks to the demands of the times and also transcends the times. This is not a project, nor a commission. For God so loved the world, they did not create a committee, but rather a willingness to listen amid the fires, earthquakes, and winds around us. And when we hear the murmuring voice answer, Heneni, here I am.